Hi, so if you ever wanted to play import titles on your American Nintendo 64 system, it's pretty easy to do without having to actually go in there and start chipping away at those little uh, tabs inside the 64. And the way to do this is pretty simple. First, you grab your Japanese copy of whatever game. Right here, I have Mario Party, relatively cheap title. You grab a cheap, crappy sports game that you, no one cares about for like a dollar or 50 cents at Goodwill or wherever you happen to find your crappy sports titles. Basically take these four screws out with a game bit. Uh, while we're on the topic of it, Nintendo cartridge game bits are smaller than the big ones. I don't know the exact, I think it's like 3.8 or something millimeter, but all I know is Nintendo smaller, Sega bigger. Now th this, I just use the game bit like this. You could put it in a big old screwdriver if you want, or you, actually some game bits even come with built-in screwdriver or handle or whatever you call it. But all you do is you just unscrew these. You could use a screwdriver if you want, but with these kind of game bits, I just have easier control. And this is different for everybody, but I just like using my thumbs, I mean. All right, so once you have those screws removed, you just, you lift up from the top and slide down like that. So let's do this again. You lift up, slide down, make sure these tabs, you don't break these tabs off. Nice thing about this hardware adjustment is that you don't actually have to touch the actual bits of your uh, cart of your game. You just literally swap these two like this. So we just so once again I'm reassembling. This is the 64 uh, crappy sports title um, back going onto the Mario Party back, uh, front. You just slide the basically reverse what we did. We start from the bottom here. So you start from the bottom and you slide up and you push down and that will get our game bit. You want to make sure they're tight, but you don't want to over tighten it because you could break off the plastic tab inside the cartridge. So just make sure it's tight but not over tight. And when you're all done, you'll have a front Japanese cover and the American back. Uh, you want to keep your back cover just for collector's sake. Um, Basically, what you probably want to do is you probably just want to put the back cover back on the crappy sports title and basically just stick it in your collection and maybe put an X on it or something so you remember where your original back was. Um, if you care. Some people might not care, but I think, you know, if it's me, I'm keeping the original back in case I ever go resell it or something. I like to have all my original stuff. And now you won't be able to play this terrible game on your 64, but you know what? I think you'll live. Or if you want to happen to play NBA Live 99 on your Japanese Nintendo 64. Yeah. I guess you could do that, too. Yeah, so, you you know, now you have a crappy American game that works on a Japanese system. But, yeah, I would just say, right, put an X or something on here so you remember, you know. It's obviously not on the back. Yeah, not on the back, but on the front. Now you have your American back with the tabs that will just slip right in with your Japanese front. And you're on your way to some sexy hot N64 time. So uh, we're the Pixel Slayers. Hit that like and subscribe button. It helps us out tremendously. And uh, we'll be seeing you soon with another video.